Yeah, as far as invasive, I mean, invasive feces goes, I mean, things are going to change physically on things. I see now this tree here. It has a bulb tier too. Don't ask me if that is the same type of bulge. And they're red too. I'm just doing similarities. Sometimes in similarities you find an invasive species, depending on the way it works. So what's happening is the stem here is getting fatter, but I didn't notice before why oh, these were getting red. But I see, and I have to go in, it's gonna rain. These are red too, much like the tree over there has gotten red. I can see there's been a change in the tree altogether, the whole, you see that you're getting a new, a new species growing from the old species because everything has to change. If the climate, if the climate starts to disintegrate and so will, ah, look at that one. Now that's a new look. Actually right here, see right here? You could take that right there and there and put some root hormone on it and you got a tree right there. See a lot of people are cutting the tops of their uh, these trees off. The tops, uh, your tree will just grow out if you cut the tops off it. it. Might be better off to leave the tops alone or if they get too big if you have to cut them off you could cut them in a way where you could put some hormone root on the bottom of that and grow another separate tree that's the only thing I think you can do um, uh, I don't know what's the damage on these trees these are like ferns and uh, pine so I haven't had a lot of chance to look at them but I noticed sparseness of uh, uh, but, you know, there's there's no nothing on a lot of the branches. If we look around, that's what those trees and they're just simply losing all their uh, their their uh, I want to say leaves, but they're uh, well. Anyway, I've been talking too long and I'm getting tired. But anyway, so there is a change in the plants in my garden too. So what's going on here? You can see it right here. Somebody's actually picked that. No one picked. Actually, no one picked this. What's going on is there's a thought. There's a like a a hemorrhage, but it's it's getting like a thickness to it too. I've seen these in the United States when people are talking about their gardens and lack of this and so much of this also. Yeah. In inside the house, it is uh, just uh, just like um, keep your alfalfa growing. Don't cut it because you can eat it, and you can eat alfalfa seeds, alfalfa flowers. Come on, you can eat alfalfa. Yeah, you can throw the seeds in and eat baby alfalfa. Keep your alfalfa in your yard. You see these two, I think. I don't know if exactly, but I'm pretty darn sure that these are edible to the tea. I don't think that's, um, I keep forgetting the name. They're, well, they are. Uh, they're, I guess you can eat the leaves too. Dandelions. All these beautiful greens. Apparently, they're edible. But on this one, you look it up and you make damn sure that they are. Don't just take all my word for everything either. You don't do stuff like that when you hear a video. But you can eat these. You know we can eat these. You can boil them up and eat them if you have to. It's alfalfa. Or, or even if you dry them out, I'm sure you can sprinkle them on your cereal. But last time everybody cut the alfalfa spot and they just, it was like... I meant to put rocks around some of them so that they didn't get cut because this is food. We have to start looking for food. Everyone, if I say anything to you, time's up. <laughs>